KREX 5 Storm Team. This is your forecast first. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for trusting us as your local leader for sports, weather, and of course news. We go to America's Mattress Tower Cam. Beautiful shot of those mid level clouds moving through. They're serious with a couple of tiny cumuluses, but no energy. But they are getting lit up by that moon. Now, tonight, not as cold, 26 and 27. It will be another freezing night, but drive a little bit of energy with this system will be far away from us. For tomorrow, even warmer, 59 and 55. I'm tracking a weak system for the weekend and a much stronger one for the middle to late part of next week. We'll go over all the data together. In just a few moments. Now, first on the Western Slope, you're watching KREX 5 News at 6 p.m. Well, hi there, and thank you for joining us this Tuesday on KREX 5 News at 6 p.m. I'm Logan Wilbur. School district officials are trying to determine how to fund future projects without asking taxpayers for almost $180 million. Voters spoke loud and clear when they voted against 4A and raising taxes to pay for improved school security measures. The district was hoping to build a brand new Grand Junction High School and other security improvements at Central, Fruita Monument, and Palisade High School. CareX 5's Adrian Thomas joins me live from Grand Junction High with more details. Adrian. Logan, school district officials say they have a tough job ahead after 4A's defeat. D51 officials also say they're still determined to make the changes outlined in 4A, but another bond measure could be one or two years away. According to one school board member, funds have been set aside to fix small structural issues on the Grand Junction High School campus. Issues include resurfacing pavement and renovating parts of the school's roof. But these funds are nowhere near the $189 million that would have been generated by 4A. This school board member also says more could have been done to provide the community with specific details on a new Grand Junction High School. But this board member feels D51 offered a reasonable plan to taxpayers in terms of cost. I don't think we overreached at all, but, but you don't know until you actually design it and build it. And so I think we may have been a little on the high side, and you've got to be a little on the high side. You can't be short of money if you got to go back to the voters. But I, I, I think I think our costs, I think they were accurate, that we meant to be. We, we went and got square footage. We knew where it was going to be. We knew what we had to demolish. Head on over to westernslopenow.com tomorrow for a web, a web exclusive story on what went wrong in the 4A campaign and then tune in Thursday evening for another story on what the school district is planning next for school improvements. First on the Western Slope and live near Grand Junction High School, I'm Adrian Thomas, KREX 5 News. Logan? Adrian, thank you very much. Certainly something we'll be keeping an eye on. Well, honoring those who served goes beyond Veterans Day. One local organization makes it one of its missions to serve vets year-round, providing them opportunities to enjoy outdoor recreation. Whether it be cycling, rafting, or kayaking, Colorado Discoverability provides adaptive equipment for people with disabilities. They work together with the VA hospital to get vets together and find the equipment that best fits their skill set. Beyond the VA, they help provide equipment for vets who team up together on their own individual bike paths at Las Colonias Park. Even though temperatures are dropping, there's no slowing down for this organization. Colorado Discoverability hopes more vets come by and find out the best fit to put their own abilities to work. So if there's a veteran in our community that wants to be involved with riding a bike or getting involved with our winter program, come on down to our building. We'd love to meet you in person. That way we can start to show you how the services we provide may be a good fit for you. And we also just want to be a, a warm welcome for anyone that wants to come down and participate. Now, you don't have to be a veteran to get involved. Anyone interested in helping out, a volunteer orientation is being held tomorrow night at the CDA headquarters located at 601 Struthers Avenue starting at 6 p.m. This winter season will include adaptive skiing and snowboarding up to Powderhorn six days a week. We are officially in the open enrollment period for the Affordable Care Act, a yearly time when people can enroll in health insurance plans, and Hilltop Family Resources is lending a helping hand to individuals seeking coverage. CARIX 5's Jillian McCarthy stand by lives in studio. She has more details. Jillian? Logan, open enrollment period is a time where people can make any changes to their household size or income and select a new plan going into 2020. The period began on November 1st. Anyone in the United States can choose a plan by December 15th to receive health coverage effective January 1st, but Coloradans have an extended month, so residents have until January 15th to select a plan, which will go into effect on February 1st. 
Many different employers offer insurance plans through their company, but for individuals who do not have health insurance available to them, Hilltop is here to help. The Family Resource Center is currently offering walk-in appointments during the open enrollment period. Clients can consult with a Hilltop representative to answer any questions they may have and check their eligibility status. Anna Kubel of Hilltop explains the benefits of these walk-in consultations as choosing an insurance plan is a big decision. If you have changes, if maybe you have some complicated medical issues, um, and you just want to make sure that you've got all of your questions answered before you make that important choice, because once you choose your insurance for the year, you really can't change it um, until the next open enrollment unless you have a, a significant um, qualifying life change event. Before coming in for an appointment at Hilltop Family Resource Center, clients should be sure to have household income information available as well as family members' dates of birth and social security numbers in order to see what kind of assistance they qualify for. We'll have more information about Hilltop Family Resource Center as well as walk-in appointment times during open enrollment period on our website, westernslopenow.com. First in the Western Slope and live in the studio, Jillian McCarthy, KREX 5 News. Julian, thank you. And in more health news, with just under a dozen vaping-related illnesses in Colorado and more than 2,000 across the country, the federal government is looking to solve this vaping epidemic. President Trump says new rules banning flavored vaping products should be announced later this week, but some anti-vaping groups are growing worried the ban won't go far enough. Tonight on CARE X5 News at 10 p.m., our Washington correspondent explains what new rules could mean for adult smokers and the vaping business. An undercover investigation found gun stores in Colorado are circumventing a law by either ignoring it altogether or finding a loophole to get around the measure. The investigation found a state law banning the sale and transfer of large capacity gun magazines has not stopped the sale or transfer of these magazines holding more than 15 rounds of ammunition. In 2013, a democratically controlled state legislature passed four comprehensive bills dealing with guns, including this bill banning magazines capable of holding more than 15 bullets. The ban has been used as a charge 128 times in six years, but only 12 of the 128 cases, the person was sentenced for having a high-capacity magazine. Well, we're giving you a sneak peek into our new web-exclusive series called The Dish. The segment features, features local restaurants and our digital reporter, Jasmine Waples. She's going to be taking you around the western slope, showcasing what the best of the West has to offer. The first episode takes place at our neighbors down on 7th Street at the 7th Street Deli, known for its high-quality ingredients and low cost. Owner Debbie Allen says 7th Street Deli is committed to keeping it fresh. But our passion is serving good food and something that's good for you to eat. So that's what we're all about. Now be sure to check out the full episode later this week exclusively on westernslopenow.com. And of course, keep an eye out for more episodes. And if you at home have your favorite meal you want featured, send a message with the restaurant and dish details to our Facebook page. Well, it's a busy day for the Supreme Court as justices make a major ruling and begin hearing another case which could have major implications on the 2020 election. Those details ahead, but first, your full forecast is 60 seconds away. We'll be right back. It was scary. Just being uh, young and not knowing how you're going to be, I guess. From the very first time I walked through that door, I knew it'd be okay. I've seen patients crippled, and to see them be able to walk after helping them, giving them these infusible drugs, um, it's just a very rewarding experience. Busy, busy. That's life for you. So while you get to it, we're going nonstop to keep you running. No running around. For new key fobs, Plus, your neighborhood's largest selection of batteries plus bulbs. Plus, if your phone needs fixing, we do that too. Know how, right now. That's our specialty. Stop by Batteries Plus Bulbs for screen repair, key fob programming, battery replacement, and more. Learn more at BatteriesPlus.com.
Good evening. Welcome back. Start you off with the radar. All the radars and satellites running. Here's the deal. We have a weak disturbance that's actually up in Montana, but it is going to bring in partly cloudy skies over the next five or six hours. As you notice, they're approaching from the Salt Lake area, but there's no energy in there because all of the radars are on. So it is once again all bark and no real bite. No watches or warnings. Not anticipating any as the little bit we are going to see. Those little bit of clouds you see behind me on America's Mattress Tower Cam have nothing in them. We're at 38 now. No wind to speak of. Humidity 24. Dew point down to four. Pressure 30.21. So let's talk about temps out there in the high country. Low to mid 30s. Valleys upper 30s to low 40s. The same is true on the Utah side. That is anywhere from 7 to 11 degrees cooler than it was 24 hours ago because same scenario played out with that Arctic cold front about 36 hours ago and we've had to moderate some of that air. Well, the bulk of it actually wound up on the other side of the state. We did take about 10% of that air, so I would think more of a normal cold front. But the temps are going to rebound again. Already seeing that occur into the high country where they had to deal with the really cold air. A lot of goose eggs on the wind because we're right at that little moment where the wind switched back to the east at night. We get the downslope and we get that little bump in moisture, but that hasn't occurred yet. When we look at the dew points between four at us, 11 in Montrose, eight in Aspen, environment is not capable of holding a lot of moisture. Then we go to humidity, the surface reading of moisture in the 30s in the high country that will bump up to 40s and 50s, and then we will see some of that spill down into the valleys, knocking our humidities back up into the 30s over the next hour or two. Now we go wide to the state picture. You can see it looks impressive on the satellite. But if you notice, the radars for all the zones around us are on, and there's nothing in there. It is all cloud. We go to the actual smoke detector at this point. I want you to notice look at southwestern Colorado. Three or four different spot fires have been detected, and we're waiting on information from those. No watches or warnings anywhere in Colorado, but when you get north of Fort Collins, that's a high wind warning off the edge of this system because, again, its core and the snow with it is in Montana and will wind up eventually in Nebraska, meaning we don't get much out of it. HD feature cast for the whole state shows it sliding through. You can see the colors up there in Nebraska, but for us, we're too far to the south and we're too dry to pull anything out of it. So those partly cloudy skies will drift through and clear before dawn, leading to yet another warm and sunny day. Now we go wide. Looks impressive on the national picture, but again, all the energy up in Montana, no real energy off the southern edge of this thing. Now it's cool air. We'll actually go to the other side of the Rockies. Worth noting, it's not an Arctic front. It is a normal cold front, but even for them, knocks five or ten degrees off the highs, maybe five off ours. Some of the cool air will spill in. I'm slightly more impressed with that system in the Pacific Northwest, but even that one, as it approaches for Saturday into Sunday, looks to come in at a point where we're just too dry. I am way more impressed with our mid range models that suggest an extremely powerful system late next week. Now, in the short term, let's track down that Arctic cold front that absolutely blasted most of the country. Currently, the coldest air is east of Chicago, stretching into New York and Maine. It will pull away over the next few hours back into the east side of Canada, where it belongs. And our cold front, while it will pump in a little bit of cool air to the east side of the state will not really be able to affect us because you saw that big orange blob that was over the southwest. That's high pressure pumping dry and warm air into the region and that is acted as a buffer to push not only the jet stream north of us but also the last three systems. We go to the HD future cast. It agrees that this will be all a little bit of partly cloudy skies, no real energy in there. The only good thing about this since we can't pull any moisture out of it is that at least it will slow the cooling effect tonight. We talk about that all the time. Clouds stop that process or at least slow it down. Speaking of clouds, Friday, partly cloudy. And while the computer is starting to add little spots of showers there, I'm not going to bite yet. We've had just too many systems over the last six months that look great and they get here and they don't do anything. Tonight, 26 instead of 22. Clouds again will slow that daytime moisture or that daytime heat from escaping across the region. What are we looking at? Teens to 20s in the high country, upper 20s, low 30s into the valleys. No real energy as we've seen on multiple runs and radars. For tomorrow, we will see dry, warm air move in. We will see high pressure and sunshine. Pretty much a copy of what we've seen. 59, mostly sunny, a little warmer. We see the highs anywhere from the 40s to low 50s, mid to upper 50s in the valleys, low 60s on the Utah side. Grand Junction, I'll go 20% chance of a sprinkle or two and some snow in the high passes, but don't get your hopes up. Those are not major systems. And Troy, are you, you still working on that, that stash, buddy? Uh, yeah, I'm still working on it. I, I think you've already tied me, though, and it's been two days for you. Anyway, coming up in sports, I got part two of my interview with Dagan Ranks, and we're going to talk about his dad's health and his family's support. It's coming up right after this.
In 1940, our founding members started Rio Grande Federal Credit Union in a basement. Over the years, we've grown into this beautiful space we call home, thanks to our members. No matter how big our family gets, at Rio Grande Federal Credit Union, you can always count on the same great customer service, in person, online, or on the go, 24 hours a day, which means saving, borrowing, and investing to reach your goals is now easier than ever. Get on board with Rio Grande Federal Credit Union. Stop by or give us a call today. Have you been considering treating your varicose veins? Grand Junction Vein Center performs non-surgical procedures that can eliminate your varicose veins forever. Is it painful? There is very little discomfort and no downtime. Is it expensive? In most cases, it's covered by your insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. How do I know if I'm a good candidate? Just call Grand Junction Vein Center today to schedule your free vein screening and discuss the best treatment plan for you. It's time to renew your body and mind. It's time for Stressless. Now at Home and House Furniture, save $200 on Stressless Seating with a minimum $50 donation to charity or $400 on Stressless Mayfair, featuring innovative ergonomic comfort systems and multiple sizes for a personalized fit. Don't wait. It's time for Stressless. Proud to be endorsed by the American Chiropractic Association. Shop Home and House Furniture, 2494 Highway 6 and 50 or homeandhousefurniture.com. Tonight on CBS. Federal agents, heads up! Hey guys, where are all these images from? You saw something, it got him killed. Your husband had a lot of secrets. It's always the ones you least expect. A new NCIS, then. Our DOA is the ex-surgeon general. Being a cop isn't for everyone. Put the gun down and let him go. A new FBI after a new NCIS. Tonight on CBS. KREX 5 Storm Team Weather is brought to you by the Asthma and Allergy Center of Western Colorado. Yesterday we caught up with tight end, CMU tight end Dagan Ranks to talk about his decision to play football instead of basketball, living close to home and even about his hair. But for part two of my exclusive interview with him, we talked about his relationship with his father and how Dagan got some difficult news this season and how he's been dealing with it. I want to talk about your dad a little bit. He's diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Seemed like right in the middle of the season. How have you been handling that? It was... The news was hard to swallow at the beginning. Uh, definitely whenever you get life kind of throws a curveball at you like that, you don't really know how to respond. But the more the processes that go on and the more tests he has done, it just becomes more positive and we all, we all know he's going to beat it. So that's been easier as it goes on. It was definitely, definitely rough at the beginning though. How's he doing now? He's doing really well. Good. Okay, just, good. Just finished his second, uh, chemotherapy and he's responding really well to it uh, he's got two more to go and then some tests to be done and hopefully they're all good and then he'll have uh, some liver reduction okay gotcha how has that affected you this school year and season definitely made concentration a little be a little tough at the beginning yeah of the process but I've kind of learned to, that school and football are a good way to distract myself a little bit now it's not even I mean, it's still a big deal, but now it's not like something that you think about every day. It's nice to just talk, call and talk to him about football, and you don't even have to discuss the other part. Is he able to come out to games and stuff? He is, yeah. Okay. He even traveled to uh, Dixie State last week. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. What's it like to have that kind of support just from your family 24-7? It's amazing. Uh, they believe in me even more than I believe in myself. And I don't know what I'd do without them, because I mean, he, my parents have only missed maybe two games. Wow! In my whole life, like whether it's AAU or just a scrimmage, like they want to be there no matter what. We had just a spring scrimmage here last year, and they felt so bad that they couldn't even, they couldn't make it. And I mean, they just they're so proud of me, and I'm it's definitely comforting because they. They make sure to tell me that every day and wow. really helps me throughout the day and everything. Megan's father coaches the girls basketball team at Paonia High School and is still coaching this season while he's fighting cancer. And if you'd like to see the full interview, head on over to westernsoapnow.com. That's it for sports though. We'll be right back after the break. 
How do I use better than bouillon? I just add a spoonful to my marinades. To stir fries? Sauces. Just whisk it in. Brush it on? Saute. It adds a cooked all day taste. That doesn't take all day. Better than bouillon. Don't just make it, make it better. At Cracker Barrel, we're cooking up warm feelings of home this season with country fried turkey, hand breaded, fried till crispy, and topped with holiday herbed gravy. Our take on a festive favorite is back, and it's only at Cracker Barrel. So come on home for the holidays. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. At Integrity Hearing Center, we hear stories like this frequently. I've been hard of hearing for years and years and years, and I've put it off because they cost too much money. I had a friend that recommended Scott and he quoted me prices $1,500 cheaper. I wouldn't hesitate for a minute to tell my friends or neighbors or anybody this is a place they need to come. Give us a call at Integrity Hearing Center, 242-1111. At Shadow Pet Supplies, we take pet care back to the business. Does your pet have allergies? Are they itchy? Do they have a special needs diet? Our natural, healthy food and supplies ensure your pets get the right care. You've heard the saying, you are what you eat. That works for pets too. Many times, changing your pet's diet can help their allergies, weight management, teeth, gums, and coat. Come by Chow Down Pet Supplies and find what your pet has been missing. Stop by and see us today. My journey to my new smile started about 37 years ago. I was born without my eye teeth. I also had a jaw that caused me to have chronic pain and headaches. I talked to a colleague and he highly recommended Dr. Benefield with Grand Dental. He has an incredible gift for picking out just the right implant in terms of shape and color. For the first time in my life, I feel confident in my smile. I highly recommend Grand Dental for a patient-centered experience and reliable outcomes. KREX5 is excited to bring back Letters to Santa. Write your one-page letter and submit it online at westernslopenow.com. Submit your letters now through December 5th. A major decision from the Supreme Court today as the highest court decides not to take up an appeal by a major gun manufacturer. Lawsuits against Remington by the victims of the Sandy Hook School Massacre are allowed to proceed. Remington is the manufacturer of the gun used in the 2012 shooting. Police say the shooter used a rifle to kill 21st graders and six adults at the elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut. Sandy Hook families say the gun should have never been sold to the public because it is a military-style weapon. The ruling to allow the lawsuit marks a blow to the gun industry, which could open the door for other victims and families of gun violence to sue gun manufacturers for damages. And demonstrators gathered outside the Supreme Court building in support of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, or known as DACA. The Supreme Court is reviewing the Trump administration's push to end protections for the so-called dreamers. DACA protects undocumented immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children from deportation. President Obama put it in place with an executive order. The Trump administration is now fighting to undo that decision. The Supreme Court justices could announce a ruling as soon as June. The decision would affect around 700,000 undocumented immigrants currently in the U.S. Well, stay tuned because when we return, Chief Meteorologist Chris Nation will have your final weather. Don't go anywhere. Why is everything at Qdoba so good? Because we grill it, slice it, smash it, spice it, shred it, flip it, squeeze it, dip it, braise it, melt it, and saute it. Pour it, cook it, eat it, ate it. Roll it, cut it, mix it, roast it, press it, dice it, top it, smoke it, build it, salt it, pit it, scoop it, fresh it, toss it, and we do it in-house every day at Qdoba. Dent stains and peeling paint? At RIP, you can trust your car is in the right hands. From restorations to insurance claims, we work with our clients from start to finish for a smooth and hassle-free experience. At RIP, we offer a unique out-of-pocket program, which allows us to give affordable estimates for our clients without jeopardizing any quality of work. For the best work and affordable prices, say RIP to Dents and Dings. Hello, 
I'm Dr. Frank Lotrick. If you think that a psychiatric hospitalization for someone that you know may be needed, please call the West Springs Hospital Assessment and Admissions Team, 970-201-4299. We offer a free confidential screening assessment. West Springs Hospital is the psychiatric hospital on the western slope of Colorado. We are open 24 hours a day. Mental illness can be serious, mental illness can be treated. We're here when you need us, we're here to help. Local news right in your pocket. Download the KRX5 News mobile app on your Android or Apple device. Now you can customize which alerts and notifications you get. Just click the settings tab, customize alerts, and select what you want. Local breaking news, local weather, and even up-to-date scores and highlights from the CMU Mavericks and Denver Broncos. All in the palm of your hand. Stay connected with the KRX5 News mobile app. Download today on Google Play or the App Store. Close captioning brought to you by Pinnacle Hearing Aid Center. We love it. Good evening. Welcome back. So what do we learn in weather today? Well, there's another storm system through Montana with a weak cool front. Not only are we not going to get any energy from that system, we're not even going to get a taste of the cool front. It's going to wind up on the other side of the state. The only thing we get, these mid and high level clouds, few little mid level cirruses and mostly high level clouds, and they're not going to do anything. So for mostly clear skies, because these will even be gone in a few hours, 26 and 27, freezing but dry, no chance of snow or rain. For tomorrow, even warmer as dry air out of the desert comes rolling in. High pressure continues to build with plenty of sunshine. Takes us to 59 and 55. Now let's look at this system on its approach. We've got all of the radars running. There's not a drop of energy in this thing. In fact, the closest snow coming out of it is all the way up in Montana and we're on the southern tip, meaning there is no chance of pulling anything out of it. Now let's talk watches and warnings. There are not, we're not anticipating any. If you're headed out in the next few minutes, how cold is it? Well, we're already down to 38. No winds, humidity 24%. Dew point four, and the pressure, it's up. So let's factor that all into the next seven days. For Grand Junction, 59, 62, 64, breezy with partly cloudy skies Friday. Another system that is all bark and no bite, Logan. Next chance is Saturday. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Definitely need to get out of that drought. Hopefully, something helps us pretty soon. Stay tuned. We will be back tonight at 10 p.m. In the meantime, enjoy your evening. We'll see you soon.